Hey guys, welcome to Dantan Tailoring. In today's video, we are gonna take a very cute, but a little tight top, and we are going to let out. So let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. This is such a cute top, but it's a little bit too tight and we shouldn't waste the opportunity to wear it, right? We just need to fix it. So I'm going to add material at the sides. I'm putting on my mannequin just to have a good reference. And now I'm going to open the sides. One side has zipper and the other doesn't have. And I will open just one side of the zipper to add the material in between. And then at the other side, I will open the whole side. And remember that I already did a video on how to easily open the serger stitch. So, you know, you can take a look of it. Because this material is delicate, I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> this is what I have now. As I told you, you see, it's a line top and I have everything open. And let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure the length of the side and then I'm going to trace a line with this length to draw the piece that I need. Let me show you what I usually do in normal circumstances. I trace that length and then I check how much material I need. For example, I need three inches divided by two is one inch and a half in each side. So I divided that by two again and this is three quarter inch. And then on the top, I will put as well what I need. And then I will just trace a line. And this is a little bit boring for this top. In general, it works very well. So I'm doing a vertical line and I'm tracing a perpendicular line with the one inch and a half that I need. And on top, the half an inch I need. And then I will go there, but I will just do some kind of shape, like a little bit parallel and then going in some kind of curve. You see, I'm just inspired in a regular corset. They usually have at the side one piece with a similar shape. So I'm kind of bringing a little bit of, uh, let's say, romance to my top. I'm adding half an inch all around, although I just would have need one quarter inch, but I always want to make that piece a little bit bigger than I need, just in case, although I know that it will be okay. Another detail that I think it might look nice is to put a piping in each piece. Yes. <laughs> Something else that I think I will need is a piece under the sleeves as I am making this part a little bit bigger then I think I will need the sleeves you know to match the side of the sleeve with this piece so I open the sleeve and now I'm checking how long this piece needs to be so it looks everything flat and nice and I will mark this length again I will do the measurement that I did on top and then I will just make a kind of triangular how do you say this kind of triangle I was good at geometry I just don't remember but I was good okay so I have oh rectangle Tri rectangle triangle rectangle oh, well that's in Spanish I don't know okay so I'm cutting my pieces the mom I'm the daughter and then I'm going to find the material for cutting this is a four-way stretch knit cotton knit and it's pretty much like a great color for it so I think it will look really good this is from an old t-shirt that we don't use it don't need it anymore so you know Reuse, reduce, recycle. And I'm cutting four pieces of the big piece and two pieces. I cut two, but I just need one piece of the other one. And now I'm cutting two stripes of the knit as well to encase my piping. And this is what I have. The mom, the daughter, the partner. A happy family. So I'm choosing my thread. Yay, my wool thread. Okay, I just talked too much about my wall thread, right? <laughs> I'm going to knead the zipper foot to sew the piping. 
and I use a neat interfacing on my stripes so when I saw the piping it won't stretch out too much. Remember that this is a four-way stretching material so you have to be kind of careful with that. Even sewing this with the piping is a little bit risky but you know it's done. You just have to go slow and just do it. Now that I have my piping ready, I am taking two of the four pieces and I'm gonna sew the piping in both of them. You have to be careful, like if you wanna do something similar, to remember to go and put the piping where the curb is. I know anyways, this material kind of take the shape, whatever you do, but you know, you just have to keep that in mind. Now I have it and it's looking good. Now I'm going to sew these pieces, each one in each side. I did as well a slight curve in the body, just a little bit, so when I sew the curve of the pieces, it will look flat and nice. So I'm pinning everything. I don't want anything to be moved. It's a little bit tricky to sew these two different fabric together, so I'm just being very careful. And then after I sew my first one, at the front part, now I'm gonna sew it at the back part. So until now, everything is very easy. And as you can see, I have my first piece and you can finish in two ways. You can kind of sew the pieces like that and fold the top and the bottom part, but this is not really so clean. I prefer to do my original plan, which is to sew now another piece to the lining. So I sew the first one, this one will be very easy, but for the second one, because now it's everything lined, it's a little bit tricky, you have to insert your arm through the hole where the zipper is, and then put the two pieces together, and then pull everything out so you can reach this piece inside and sew them together see after you finish then you just pull it back and you see now you have the two pieces the one in the top and the one in the lining i'm cutting the excess of material of my piping and uh, if you want something good that you can do is to cut the excess of the cord you know so you don't have to sew the cord inside the seam the cord can finish just right before the seam it's a, i feel like a, this is more comfortable but some people don't care they just sew it and you know i don't know you do what you think is the best for you now i need to finish the top and the bottom and for that i need to go from outside from the zipper again and then i pinch the top part and I take them together to push them out and I'm gonna sew the lining and the top fabric together. I just continue the original line and that's it. You see because of the piping and the stretchiness of the material this one move a little bit. Oh, don't worry about that. You just have to open and sew it again and that's it. I'm cutting the excess of the material and then it will look more or less like that, you see? Now you see that you can see the lining because it doesn't have an stay stitch still, but this is the time that you have to do it. So I'm gonna go again doing the same, going through the lining, and then I'm making sure that the seam allowance is facing the lining and then I'm gonna do the stitch and now it will stay there. I took the opportunity to put the clear tape that will act as a stabilizer as well. Now that it's ready, I'm going to tack lining with the top together in the seam allowance, you see? Now it doesn't move, look at the other side. So we are going to, to tack in this seam too and that is very important because it gives to my top stability. Now I will repeat what I did in the hem part and now I can go to the right part where the zipper is. I 
strategically left the zipper for the last because I knew that I could work the other part through the zipper all the time. So I saw the top part and now I'm gonna sew the other piece to the lining. I put them together and now it's on. And as I did, I cut the excess, same as I did and finished the hem. And then I'm putting a little bit of interfacing because I'm sewing the zipper. And this material, remember, is super stretchy. Instead of tagging, because I don't have a means to go inside, I have, but I don't wanna use them. I will just make a stitch in the ditch seam underneath the piping. So this stitch will be pretty much invisible and uh, that will stabilize this part of the job. And now I can sew the two pieces together, you see? I search that piece and then my last step is just to sew the zipper to this part. I make sure to, you know, to align everything. And this zipper, I will sew it and it will have a little defect because I don't wanna open the whole zipper because I don't wanna lose anything. But it really doesn't matter. So I'm finishing the zipper the way it was before and now I'm taking my little triangle to put it. And I did a video on how to put this godet, you can take a look. And now I'm sewing the sleeve back to the body. Search that and ta -da! It's ready, you see? So cute, I love it. Some of my colleagues don't really want to do this kind of alteration, but I really love it. And I want to know if you think that this is a lot of job or this is okay, if you will be willing to do it, please let me know in the comments. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye.